they're still debating on if anyone is in that last stall or not. So I took the initiative and I walked through both the motherfuckers because one security guard was on one side of me, the other was on the other side of me. I walked through mo both the motherfuckers and I walked my ass to the back where that last star was at and I opened up that motherfucking door and all you smelled was fentanyl and the person was not in there and therefore that let all of us know that it was that individual now from my understanding my place of employment security cannot do anything unless they see the person hitting what they're hitting and blowing smoke or better yet they can't do anything unless smoke is literally blowing in their motherfucking face. I said that's some bullshit. I said that is some conspiracy bullshit. This shit is written carefully, written this particular way, just so things like this are can be allowed in my place of employment. Because had this been anywhere else, they wouldn't have tolerated that. Then again, Maybe they would have because when I worked at Goodwill, they tolerated a lot of motherfucking bullshit similar to where I'm working at now. Motherfuckers stealing right in front of your motherfucking face and you couldn't confront them. I get that. You know, they don't want us to get hurt. I understand that. Um, but at the same time, here I am putting my life in jeopardy. Uh, because I'm seeing something and saying something and I mean what uh, shit what the fuck are y'all gonna do if something do pop off to the point where one of the guests come at me because I seen them smoking you know motherfucking fentanyl or crack or or, or, or you know doing lines or whatever the case what the fuck are y'all going to do about that um anyway baby I'm just I remember they said a couple of more words to me and I told security I'm done I turned my back to their motherfucking asses and I walked away from them and I was loud as the fuck I didn't give a fuck about them guests I didn't give a fuck about security either I said no wonder my place of employment is a motherfucking conspiracy and all of this shit goes down and, 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 and who knows what else goes down because my place of Employment is already a dark environment as it is. There's also a deep, dark underground to my place of employment. Um, I definitely know what decision I need to make for myself because this is not helping me and my highest purpose. My ego wanted to be in my place of employment. My ego wanted this. Now that my ego has been at my place of employment for about maybe three months now and now not now but the fact that my eyes are open to a lot of the shit that goes on within the world I don't I don't want anything to do I have no respect for my place of employment just put it that way not only are you motherfuckers catering to people's addictions and taking the you know uh, not only are you motherfuckers catering to people's addictions you I mean it's it's, it's just it's, it's just it's y'all are catering to exhibitionism y'all are catering to a lot of al al alcoholism I mean y'all are catering to a lot of different forms of addiction at my place of employment for a person that has come from a place of addiction with some form of moral cor um, um, compass, compass, a lot of what I am seeing through my third eye, not my regular eyes, my third eye, a lot of what I'm seeing with my third eye does not sit well with me, nor does it sit well with my moral compass. And I don't want to be there. And so I went back to the bathroom that I was going to prep up before checking that other bathroom and I'm pissed the fuck off as an empath the type of empath that I am I wanted some motherfucking answers I got on that damn radio 
I asked my supervisor, and mind you, on the radio, not only can my supervisors, security, and all of them people hear me, but so can the higher-ups. They can hear me as well. I didn't give a fuck. I wanted answers. So I asked, what was the point of me calling security in regards to that situation in the bathroom that I was cleaning up and they weren't going to do anything about it? Now, I understand security has their own protocol and they can only go so far. They're not the police. I understand that. But to make me look like the fool in the situation, I don't appreciate that. I don't like that because I knew exactly what the fuck I was talking about. Um, I remember that I had to go to my supervisor because they wanted to talk to me because security had went to them and pretty much told them that I was snapping off, whatever else the case may be. And that's... I, that's that's not what they wanted to talk to me about. What they wanted to talk to me about was my etiquette over the radio because, you know, different branches could hear what I was saying. I don't give a fuck. I don't care. I wanted motherfucking answers to why wasn't anything done. From what I have heard via some of my um, 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 uh, employees or people that work there, Security is lazy and they don't want to do all of this paperwork regarding what they come across. That's some bullshit. You know, I mean, I get it. At my place of employment, this type of shit goes on all the time. So if they had to do paperwork for every time they caught somebody in the bathroom doing motherfucking fentanyl or whatever other drugs or, you know, they would have a hell of a lot of paperwork to do. They would never get out of my place of employment because they would be doing paperwork all motherfucking night long. Um, I don't want to give too much, but my supervisor is very well aware in regard to addiction. Not saying that they're a former addict or you know anything like that but they have dealt with individuals with addiction put it that way we talked about a lot of different things and I told them you know that I come from addiction and what I am seeing and what I know in regard to my place of employment I don't like and I was telling a friend about what happened at my place of employment yesterday and they opened my eyes a lot and they said something really unique to me in regard to myself and my place of employment. I already work in a dark demonic environment and I am light trying to, you know, I'm light energy. This is what God created. I am light and I'm trying to bring that light into a already dark and demonic place. You can only bring so much light to a dark and demonic place until it's time for you to withdraw your light and utilize it elsewhere. Um, I also spoke with the supervisor whom trained me for a week because my place of employment felt like I needed some additional training because my performance was not up to par. Let them tell it. Um, they're very upfront. I like that. They're very bold. They're very uh, 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 um, say it like it is. They were basically pre pre warning me. You know that it sound sounded to me like people have come up hurt in the past for playing their role at my place of employment and y'all not I mean before I hurt someone or someone hurt me for doing my job I am removing myself from it I don't have time I rarely like the people that I work with they're very low vibrational the music that's played at my place of employment is getting on my nerves. It's very low vibrational. All they talk about is sex, kicking it at clubs, 
someone's body. You don't never hear nothing about no one's motherfucking mind. It's always about their damn body. I'm just over it. I'm just over it all. I'm sick of it. And I want away from it. And I'm going to get away from it. Um, I'm just glad that I am able to see with my third eye a lot of the shit that is going on within our world and no wonder our world is coming to a crash and burn it's bad enough if I haven't said this already it's bad enough that I can't go through the drive through of one of my favorite restaurants and order myself something to eat without seeing motherfuckers standing there doing fucking fentanyl or some other form of drug and I'm you know I, I, I'm no different you know I I, 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 I you know I, I'm a, how can I say it I don't want to be a um, hypocrite considering you know I was smoking weed in, in, in the bathroom at my place of employment I stopped that after yesterday I'm just like mm -mm, I, I, I stopped doing that because I don't want to be a hypocrite in this situation I caught myself calling these individuals drug addicts and stuff like that and it's just like what the fuck am I doing I am shit two steps behind these motherfucking individuals uh, uh, to a degree I just see myself and my energies and my spirit and my soul I just see myself changing little by little I'm angry I, 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 you know I, I'm snapping off on folks uh, I'm coming out of my element and I you know I know that it's time for me to sever ways because I'm not I'm lowering my vibrations just put it that way but um, it's just a shame that I mean I just I had better expectations in regard to my place of employment but now that I have been there for the amount of time that I have been there, my place of employment is nothing but the streets behind walls because everything goes on there. Prostitution, pimping, drug activity, uh, 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 whatever goes on in the motherfucking streets pretty much goes on at my place of employment behind the motherfucking walls. And if that's the case, I would just be in the damn street some motherfucking where, you know, uh, it's just like, I don't want to have to go to work and be conditioned or indoctrinated to accept someone doing fucking fentanyl in my motherfucking face. I don't want to have to be conditioned to accept that. It's bad enough that I have to somewhat accept it when I'm out and about in, you know, my, gen my own general life. Oh my God. But um, anyway, you guys, I don't want to make too long of a video, but I just wanted to share what happened to me at my place of employment yesterday with you all and the world because change has to happen. This drug pandemic is out motherfucking rages. Out rages. And the fact that I see groups of motherfuckers doing fentanyl where I live at and the police just drive right past them and don't do any motherfuckers. I'm bitches prostitute out here nearly half-ass naked and the police will drive past their ass, probably make a block and pick them up and, and get their dick sucker, fuck them or something, everything else. This is why a lot of what is going... This is why a lot of the shit that is going on in our world is going on because nothing is being things are being swept underneath the rug and a lot of shit at my place of employment is being swept underneath the rug and I just don't like it and I'm going to voice my opinion and I just have a feeling that my opinion is going to cause some issues at my place of employment so the best thing for me to do while, it's, while I'm early in the game is just remove myself from it take my light somewhere else and, and, and light it up but anyway you guys don't be afraid to walk away from P 
people, places, and things that no longer serve you. And stop serving your motherfucking ego because your ego can get you in a lot of motherfucking trouble. Start supporting and start nourishing and start giving to the soul because the soul has to be fed as well. And I definitely see that now. Also, before I go, know your worth. My place of employment has truly showed me that I am worth a lot more than cleaning up after motherfucking individuals that don't give a damn about the place of employment where I am um, employed. I have more compassion for that damn place than what the fuck they do. So, mm -mm, I'm not going to put myself in harm's way and my feet hurting, my body aching and all this type of bullshit for my place of employment that don't give a fuck about me. Um, anyway, you guys, until my next upload, namaste and, um, you know, be careful out there, you guys.